Three generations of a crime-fighting family have roots in Douglas County. As Lindsay Thies reports, they're part of a legacy started more than two decades ago from a former county sergeant. Good boy. I know you want to go to work now. That's cocaine odor. Near the county line, a crime-fighting family is going to work. Uh, trained with uh, marijuana, methamphetamine, cocaine, and heroin. What are you doing? A family with four legs. He's got the good bloodlines. Sure. For more than a decade, now retired Douglas County Sheriff's Deputy Ed Van Buren and his dog Rocky made numerous busts with the DEA. Now Van Buren trains police dogs. Two years ago, we showed you Rocky's pups, Barney, Kojo. Since then, those dogs have been sent around the country to solve crime. This is his grandson. Now, the next time, generation, grandpups, is stepping up or, well, sniffing up. Over the years, Van Buren has trained dozens of police canines, not just in Rocky's bloodlines, but rescues too, in things like drug sniffing, tracking, and what you're seeing Layla demonstrate here, apprehension. Most of the dogs go to small communities. Rocco here will go to Lake County, South Dakota. The training takes a number of weeks at home and here. Oh, good boy, good boy. Came down for two weeks of actual training for him, training the handler to the dog and the dog to the handler. It's the next generation of police and canine bonds. <laughs> working to keep the community safe. In Omaha, Lindsay Thies, up front at four. Some of Code 2's pups are as far away as Texas, Colorado, and the Dakotas. And I think Lindsay could have a, a future career in that. Yeah, She's real boy. She kind of took to it, yeah. <laughs> and it would be a good day to train dogs. Good day oh, to do been, anything outside. It is. I'll tell you what, the compliment.